Okay, cool. So today I want to show my uh, Shadowkin team. Uh, the Shadowkin, he, it was my last uh, faction that I was able to get. And uh, it's, it is it is pretty tough because I like, think the only like decreased defense and decreased attack AOE champion is like a legendary. So, um, you know, it, you kind of, you do have a lot of control, but you have to, um, you'll have to manual it, um, part, parts of it. Not, not the whole thing, but you do have to try to uh, manual it for some parts. And um, that, you know, that does make it pretty tough. So you want to control them as much as possible. Nice. And then just kind of, um, you know, take them out one by one. You have to definitely control this guy up here because he will, um, everybody's controlled, so we don't need, uh, we don't need that yet. Um, I don't want to use the big abilities. Let's see if I can stun him. Okay, nice. Some controlling right there. I wanna. No, I can just use it in the next round. Okay. Oh, I forgot he comes back. So you just have to. When you're manually, you just be smart. Do, you know. Make sure you try to save all your skills for the um, for the next round, and then um, so here you definitely want to be able to freeze this guy, uh, 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 man eater, and then this guy locks out your skills and puts uh, block buffs on you. So you definitely need these two. You need to control 100%. This guy revives. Uh, the other two are kind of not really a big deal. So you want to start out with as much control as possible. So I couldn't get that guy. Um, but I will try to, uh, I don't want to waste that yet. Just going to put some protection on me. I think he provokes, so let's see if I can, nope. Let's see if I can, I'll use this. Nope, couldn't stun him. So yeah, I need more, uh, I need a lot more accuracy here. Okay. So let's try to, man eater still frozen so we can wait till the next one. Oh, I forgot I can't even. Whoops. I just wasted that. Okay, cool. That guy's provoked. What is this? AoE. You want to take out Maneater as fast as possible. Try to control him. Okay, great. That was good. That was really good. Man eater will go down. So this guy's controlled. This guy's controlled. This guy needs to die so he doesn't um, try to revive anybody. Uh, I'll go with you. Okay, great. He's controlled, he's controlled. Let's take you out. Oh man, I'm really close to dying here. I should have taken him out. Oh, he's got the increase. Okay, this is gonna be tough on the boss because Okay, so here I need to start with Ninjas A1 because this boss gains turn meter for every HP he loses. So if I try to hit him with the big ability, he'll go pretty much right away. So you want to try to do the decreased defense. You want to buff him up and then you want to want to put uh, block buffs on everybody and then the boss will go. So then just to me, and I think this guy's the first target. Oh no, usually he is, but I think because he has less HP. Okay, so now let's uh, buff everybody again. 
try to get some decrease attack oh yes it landed so then you can use big ability hp burn nice so this this little shield he gets from this attack here is is really good because the boss you know he can't ignore the shield he ignores the defense but the shield definitely helps i think the first time i beat it that was why because he uh he had the shield, so I like barely was able to get by. I might I might not get three stars here, but let's see if I can do decreased defense on this guy. Let's put continuous heal on everybody. And then that little shield is from the 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 um what's it called? Um the the ring. The ring that I put on him. It gives him like a little bit of shield. So I think I am going to lose this guy here. Or maybe he'll use this attack. I don't remember. Oh, that was perfect. Mmm. That shield was amazing. Okay, so you see I'm, I'm really close to losing him. So this is pretty... This is I don't think this is going to be a three star. But that's basically the gist of it. That's how you would want to do it. So I kind of want to go with decreased defense, but I know this will take more health out of him, but also give him more turn meters. So that's gonna that's kind of annoying. So I'm gonna try to go here. That was probably a mistake, but screw it. Ah, and I don't have my yeah. That's this is tough. Hmm. Oh, <laughs> I was not expecting that. Oh, wow. That was crazy. Ninja's ridiculous. Holy crap. So the best time was four minutes. That's on auto. That's like from losing. I think this guy always dies first somehow. But there you go. I mean, that's how you can do it. You just kind of have to be, whoops. You just have to be smart about the, you know, using the next skills. I'm going to show you. Uh, the builds real quick. Uh, well, not the builds. If you want to see a particular build on one of these, I'll show you the builds. I'm show you. I'm gonna show you the stats, and I'm gonna show you what um, uh, if I, like what masteries, if any, I have. Most of these guys don't have. I think Ninja is the only one that has full masteries or almost full, and then the rest don't have any. And again, one of two of them are like defense based. So let's go. All right. So Ninja is. Uh, if you don't have them. That sucks because he's really, really good against bosses. But I think I think most people should have him. Just if you're brand new, you probably won't have him. Sorry, that sucks. So his ultimate stat. If you want to see the build again, let me shoot me a comment. Let me know and I'll I'll go through his full exact build. But he's speed tuned right now for my clan boss nightmare team. So I one key uh, regular nightmare and then I have an unkillable for ultra nightmare. But he's on my nightmare team. And uh, I have them at 208. I have to have that speed, uh, at least right now. And then, if I wanted to have increase uh, to to increase his crit rate, I would uh, lose a little bit of speed. So I kind of 94 is what I kind of have to deal with. 248 accuracy is enough for his uh, skills. I think. Uh, I I mean, I do always get the freezes on the on the enemies. I do always get um, uh, at least for faction wars. I don't really try him out anywhere else. Uh, faction wars and um, you know all the waves and all that stuff and then his his uh decreased defense on his a1 is uh is is really good it hits pretty hard and it um it decreased defense it gives you decreased defense and then his masteries as you can see i'm missing a little bit i don't have all of them but i it's war master for you know clan boss and all that toragi the frog Basically, no mastery is just a little bit more crit rate crit damage and a little bit more accuracy and shields or not shields, heals. I think that's what that is, right? Uh, what is it? Increases value of shield this champion cast. So I forgot. Does he do that actually? Oh yeah, yeah. I forgot. I forgot he did that. Uh, but basically, these are these are his stats. He's pretty fast uh, since he's a, uh, you know, he's mostly a uh, support on my team, and then also you know he provokes. So I need him to be pretty quick. So 200. And uh, his A1 is decreased attack too, so that's pretty nice. So you want to go with high uh, accuracy. 
Okay, the rest of his stats don't matter too much. I think he's, uh, yeah, he's HP based, so he's kind of perfect for this, uh, this boss because you need to have high HP on him so he won't get targeted. And, and also, um, you know, because the boss ignores defense, so if you have really good HP, it won't matter. Then you got Burangiri. I don't know how to say that. He is defense based, I think. Yep, he's a defense based champion. He's got a lot of control. Okay, provoke and, and AOE stun uh, is pretty good. And then he's got his, I think he's self buffs places. Oh no, on all allies. So, okay, strengthen on all allies also places shield buff for two turn. On, uh, so shield and buffs. Man, I forgot this guy does this. Pretty cool. Heals this champion by 50% of the max their max HP whenever an ally or an enemy dies. Which, for this team, there's no revivers. So this would be a terrible... I mean, this is useless because you don't want anybody to die here. And you can't. It's Faction Wars. So his ultimate stats, 175. He's not very fast, obviously. Uh, 276 accuracy, good enough uh, for his stuns and all that. But um, And provokes sometimes. Again, th this team is really a lot of control. It just happens to be the champions I have to do it. And uh, the Provoke comes in clutch with the waves, uh, especially because, you know, Man Eater and the, the other dude, I forgot the name. And then the stun also comes in pretty clutch. The, the chances of it are really low, even when booked. But, I mean, you got to take what you can get, you know. And then uh, I got this Rare and uh, Odachi. He's pretty cool. He's got another sort of uh, control champion, right? Defense based as well, so kind of useless because you know the he, the boss avoids or uh, ignores defense. But really good provoke ability right here. Again, low chance, but it is an A1, so that's pretty nice. And then uh, places a shield on this champion. So the shield, the first time, first first time I beat it, this little shield was uh, the reason I won. But it's actually it, it came from this little shield i was wondering like how he got the shield off of uh, attacking and then it was actually because of this and it, you know a little sliver of health was left and he was able to we were able to beat the boss so oh another the important thing is his speed he has to be faster than the boss but and uh yeah and faster than the other two just because you want to uh you want him to go right before the boss so i had to i kind of got lucky with the speeds so his speed is 201, and then Ninja's Ninja goes first every time to 208, and then this guy is at 204. So these three, right? So it goes Ninja, the Frog, and then this guy, and then the boss goes, and then these two go. So you wanna uh, you wanna set it kind of like that. Anything you wanna have who, this guy, you need him to have over 200 speed. 201 seems to be the key. I forgot what the speed of the boss is, but obviously he's uh, somewhere he's got the boss got to be like 200 or something or 190 or something because these guys go after him and 175 and he's super slow 165 so the boss is somewhere between 165 and 200 something like that uh, so yeah that's these are the stats again he's a defense based he I mean I guess he can hit hard I don't I didn't build him to hit that hard I just kind of focused more on the accuracy and the speed and some defense and a little HP uh, so he wouldn't die so quick and then this guy's not even fully level oh sorry I forgot masteries no masteries on this guy uh, some masteries on this guy nothing crazy uh, this guy no masteries at all uh, am I did I book him he's not even all the way booked but th this skill right here needs to be booked. You want this one to be booked at least. Even if you can't get all the rest of these. I mean the extra buff chance might have gotten me uh, uh, the decreased attack uh, all the time. But it just didn't. The leech is really nice on this. Oh my god. A1 leech is pretty cool. So defense base. Or is he defense base? I forgot. I think he is. Yep. Defense base champion. So I have higher defense on him. But nothing crazy. The speed is nothing crazy. With this guy, I was not really worried about his build. I was mostly worried about the accuracy because I needed him to land his uh, decrease uh, attack. And that's mainly the reason. And, and the leech is not bad too. But I didn't really think too much about his build. So those are his, that's his stats. And then the, again, no masteries. So I'll just go over the masteries again, just so you can see. Okay. And stats, 165, 201, 
205, and 208. And again, this particular build is a clan boss build, so you don't have to copy it exactly, but you do want him to, you know, go around one of the first or second person. That way, like, he can do the freeze, and, and or at least faster than the enemy. And that's, that's it. That's the Faction Wars 21 uh, Shadowkin. Hope that helped. Thanks.